Yo, it's your boy GT here from the Gangster Times. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also hit me up on Instagram, which is Gangster Times underscore official. And on my Snapchat, type in the search box. Off-duty Met police officer was ambushed by 12 robbers who hit him with a glass bottle before snatching his warrant card and designer watch outside a West London bar. A good Samaritan intervened to stop the mob raining down blows on the constable but was knocked unconscious and left sprawling in the road. CCTV footage captured Daniel Aggieman, who's 30 years old, one of five men jailed for a total of nearly 25 years, rifling through the man's pockets for items to steal as he lay helpless on the ground. The officer, who's 25 years old, was enjoying a night out at the bar in Rainers Lane in Harrow when he became aware of two men watching him on November the 17th, 2019. As he left at 3am with a friend, a thug came from behind and looped his arms around his neck, pulling him backwards and back onto the pavements. A dozen males then rushed around the victim and began a frantic attack, smashing bottles on his arm in the process. One suspect yanked a chain from around his neck whilst another man punched him repeatedly until he handed over the valuable watch. The officer's friend was punched in the face and suffered a broken nose and fractured jaw. A brave passerby, not known to either man, attempted to halt the attack, but he was punched before falling unconscious into the road. The jury watched footage of Aggie Man pulling at the police officer's pockets, apparently looking to steal any possessions. Another man made an attempt to make his way through the crowd to help, but had punches thrown at him, and he escaped without suffering any injuries. As the suspects left the scene, the policeman realises police ID, bank cards, driving licence and oyster card were missing. He immediately ran to the police station to report the incident and was later treated for bruising to his ribs, back and shoulders. Officers trawled over hours of CCTV to identify five of the 12 individuals involved. Further work placed vehicles and mobiles belonging to Aggieman, Christian Bangisa, who's 29, Rodney Abroqua in the area. And then in February last year, the trio and Arwusan Alba were arrested at various addresses in South and East London. Police found clothing matching to those worn by the men on CCTV. Sharif Fusiani was later arrested in Essex. In a statement, the officer said as well as continuous pain, he lives in fear of a similar attack. After being convicted of violent disorder and robbery at Harrow Crown Court, Agiman was jailed for five years, Bangisa was jailed for four years and one month, Abroqua was jailed for four years and six months, Alba was jailed for six years and Fusiani was jailed for five years. Detective Inspector Gavin Collins from the Mets Operation Venice team said, the group became aware that the victim was a police officer when they found his warrant card. They subsequently continued to rain blows down on the victim and committed further violence against others in the area, demonstrating their arrogance and total disregard for the fact that they were assaulting an emergency worker. I hope that this group of men will now spend a significant time in prison and it provides them with reassurance to the victims and those who witnessed the awful incident. The Met and the, du the, Met and the Judicial System will not tolerate any violence in any form, not least when it's committed against a person who regularly and knowingly puts themselves in harm's way for others. Guys, what do you think to that? Robbers who attacked an off-duty Met officer, stole his warrant card and his watch, have been jailed for over 25 years. Was it worth it? Let me know what you guys think. A leading cocaine dealer from Peterborough, who was jailed for 14 years for supplying Class A drugs to organised crime gangs, has been told, that he needs to pay back £190,000 of his ill-gotten gains. The Neriton Colurdo, who's 44 years old, made significant sums selling the Class A substance to seven people who were later convicted of drug offences. So Colurdo was jailed in December 2018 for 14 years and four months, and his wife, Osuro, who's 40 years old, received an 18-month suspended sentence following a Cambridgeshire constabulary investigation. While initial inquiries into the pair were ongoing, a Proceeds of Crime Act restraint order was obtained to ensure cash seized at their address, a residential property, bank balances and a Rolex watch were ring-fenced pending conviction. At Peterborough Crown Court just the other day on Monday, Neriton was ordered to repay £111,264 and his wife Asura was ordered to pay £79,033. And it's believed that if they don't repay their respective amounts by the 12th of July, they each face an increased period of 12 months in jail and both would still be required to pay back that outstanding money.
Financial Investigation Manager Leanne Middleton said, This result again demonstrates that we will continue to target the money and assets of criminals who have profited from the misery of others. Working alongside colleagues at Cambridge Constabulary has shown that we can capitalise on every opportunity to use Parker's asset recovery powers to strip those who seek to benefit from crime. And Detective Chief Inspector Chris O'Brien said this hearing shows that crime doesn't pay. I'm pleased the Colludras will now have to repay a significant sum to cover their ill-gotten gains. The drugs Nerriton supplied would inevitably have trapped people into addiction and caused misery. And we continue to work tirelessly to bring those who supply or deal drugs to justice. And I've got an update on a story that I reported on just the other day. And it was coming from Leeds where the lad had his hand chopped off with a machete. So a 24-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of attempted murder for that incident. He's unnamed and the suspect remains in police custody following that gruesome attack in Stanks Parade in Leeds on Tuesday night. Officers have also arrested a 13-year-old on suspicion of criminal damage in relation to an incident at an address on April the 9th which is believed to be linked. Police believe multiple people were involved in the machete attack and are urging witnesses to come forward. Detective Inspector Guy Shackleton of Leeds District CID said, We are building up a picture of the events immediately surrounding this attack and it is clear from our inquiries that a number of people were involved and we are still keen for any information that could assist us in identifying them. The 18-year-old victim is still receiving treatment in hospital after his hand was completely severed and police believe the attack could be linked to other incidents involving rival gangs that have increased stop and search powers around East Leeds. So basically the police in Leeds, they put an order in place which meant that anyone in the area, they could be searched for weapons without police officers having to have reasonable grounds to suspect them. Orders apply in areas such as Hare Hills, Gipton and Halton Moor. What they're saying is they've got a section 60 within that area. So that's just a quick update on that story. So guys, let me know what you think with regards to the stories that I've let you know about today. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked, keep it real. In my video yesterday, if you are interested in purchasing any cryptocurrency, then I put a link in the description below on the app that I'm using, which is called Swissborg. Swissborg is a platform which helps users create and manage their crypto portfolios. And in my opinion, it's an easy and intuitive way to manage the crypto wealth. And in my opinion, it's much better than Coinbase, even though it doesn't offer as many coins they do. However, the fees are much cheaper. In the coming weeks, I'll be making a video with regards to review on Swissborg because I feel as though it's not just only cryptocurrency you can purchase from there. Because I feel as though that they've got much more to offer because they're actually a wealth management platform and they want to provide the users with an infrastructure and tools to manage their cryptocurrency investments more efficiently. So if you're interested, the link is in the description below. And if you've got any questions, just drop them in the comments. But just to let you know, I'm not a financial advisor. If you're putting in money, you're putting it in at your own risk. But for me, I think Swissborg is a fantastic platform for cryptocurrency. And also, if you join up, you get entered into a lottery. So if you put in the first £50, you can get up to $100. Now, I say up to $100 because the most I've seen a person get is $15. And the least I've seen a person get is $2. But in the end, it's free crypto. So if you're interested, click in the link in the description below and I'll be making a video on this soon.